Kon niet zeggen de mee en het snooi. Hier John. It's a nice and sunny day. Muhammad Ali. He's got a heart made of yellow barley straw. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Dave. And we're, and we're the, the Hardware, hardware Guys. guys. I've always been interested in planes, uh, uh, from model planes to radio controlled airplanes. I love traveling in airplanes. Uh, I've never been in a helicopter, but that may change. The greatest feeling of an airplane is takeoff. I think it's just when, they, uh, when you're in a jet and you're, you're taxiing the runway and uh, you, if you feel him go full throttle and, you, and he pulls back. And as soon as you're leaving the ground, you're feeling that, that sensation of force and uh, uh, great feeling. I, you know, I love flying. Uh, when you're up there, especially in a small plane, you feel free. Um, just like, because it doesn't seem like essentially like you're moving that fast. And uh, you almost feel it gives you like a bird-like sort of feeling. Bye. Not an oops or an oh gosh or anything. Right, right. Just, uh, they were flying a Norseman? No, just seen lots at La Ronge. Okay. Yeah. I, when I was first, when or first, second or third time, I flew in north of La Ronge. To, we were north of Wollaston and then way up on the Cochran River. But we're in a Norseman. And this pilot, pretty clear that we were green. And, and <laughs> for whatever luck of the draw, I got to sit in the co pilot seat. And, pilot sitting there with his map, you know, and he's kind of looking at the map and saying, does that lake down there look like this? <laughs> 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 and I'm sure he was doing it just to <laughs> see how agitated yeah. he could get me, eh? Get your and then uh, after a while he says, peel back that mat there by your feet. So I peeled back the mat and I looked and, and down there it says, you know, made 1946 or something, 1947, whenever that plane was made. This was 1967, and at that stage of my life, 20 years ago was a hell of a long time ago. <laughs> <clears throat> he said, you know, and it was a rattly old noisy. It wasn't as noisy as otter, but it rattled and jiggled and, you know. But this guy obviously knew what he was doing, but he took great joy out of showing me that me that that plane was older than I was and <laughs> <laughs> so he was playing mind games with me the whole time. Does that lake look like this? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.
when we were going to public school, uh, a friend of mine had uh, one of these balsa aircraft uh, that we cut out uh, and uh, glued it together and um, put tissue paper on it and then flew it with a rubber band. And then ever since, we had to be out there. At uh, one time at Valcares, when uh, about 61, uh, 60 or 61, a uh, fellow asked, uh, are you interested in flying? I said, yes. And, and after that, it was always yes. <laughs> didn't matter uh, what, which way you're going, whether you had enough money or whether you had enough time, it didn't matter. It was yes. <laughs> I like the problems that are associated with it as you control the aircraft and uh, get the inputs of what the environment is doing and uh, you try to correct it with your aircraft to keep it safe. Yeah, I like that. Not scared of heights, not scared to fly, not scared to land, not scared to take off, not, uh, no, 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 but scared. Uh, what is scaring? What is, what is that word? It, it, it's, it's, um, you could panic sometimes. Uh, a panic is when you don't know uh, immediately where you are at that time. You know, and, uh, but then you fly a little bit further and it, then you start recognizing things and uh, so there's no, no problems. If, for example, in the, in the winter, everything is um, white. And if there's clouds, then you don't know where the ground level is, so it's a white out. And so then you could be flying and it bounce, hit the ground and bounce. But there's some, you know, the ground is someplace there, but you can't see where it is. Unless you have uh, ski marks and uh, it throws a shadow, then you can see the shadow. But so you land according to the shadow rather than, the, uh, the, than uh, where the uh, uh, topography is. This to keep the dust, like in the spring, there's lots of dust and uh, flying around so that we keep that covered. And uh, you, you can see the dust just right out here. Yeah. But then it keeps it clean and, and, and so on. Then in the summertime, uh, when we fly it, there's lots of bugs. We have to make sure that it's everything is cleaned off when we land so that the propeller is in tip top shape. No, it's still, still, uh, because it's gusty like this and it's um, unpredictable. And that uh, they say at 20 mile an hour you should stay on the ground. Yeah, the best time is in the morning. <laughs> at 90 degrees from here out, intersect the uh, a cultivated field that is uh, going this way, uh, 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 in line with that pole and intersect it over there, then you take off or, or yonder ways. And you need to know the visibility, uh, the um, atmospheric conditions. You have to plan your flight as far as uh, this is concerned, where how long it will take so that the um, conditions will last that long from here to where you're going. over yonder ways, make sure that these flaps are just 
the big draw, the sparrows, which are, there are none there, right about here. And this is almost craw down here. And now uh, I'll just go and check the check the oil. Yeah, it's full. Looking good. And we have the propeller. Right? Okay, so now put the brakes on and prime it and then give it a start. Now the danger zone is right in front and uh, from about here comes out like this. Uh, won't be moving very far. And let it sit. Right. And then I'll pull it through a number of times to get the gasoline into the engine. And then I'll turn the engine on, uh, the magneto. Yeah, so that there's nothing. It won't start now. And the needle on left.
Got to keep it nice and clean. <laughs> it's been uh, it's been dry lately. Well, mind you, we had a bit of a shower yesterday, but it didn't amount to anything. Yeah, didn't want to slow the farmers down too much. It's harvest time.